Hey y'all. So today I'm going to give my friend Janine a cut and color. Um, I'm going to do peekaboo sides. So that's what you see me doing now. I'm just parting out the two blocks. One on the left side and one on the right side. We're doing this so she could kind of cover the color if she really wanted to. But she could also expose it if she wanted to. I know you see me doing basically four blocks on the hair but this is only to just kind of get this other hair out of the way it doesn't have to be sectioned like this but it's a little easier if you just make it four instead of three now I'm mixing Clairol Collider colors in the tone blue I think I'm using uh, two ounces and 30 volume so yeah um collider colors is really good for dark hair um it'll bring it up a few levels and you know i don't want to overdo it so it gives it a high lift in quick time it also is infused with aloe vera so it helps with a little conditioning um and you could get this without your license at the hair store i like to kind of use stuff that you guys can go out and get um if i'm teaching you on youtube i don't want to have to make you go to cosmoprof and all of that because if you're not licensed you're not going to be able to get it so you can find this at your beauty supply store but only use it if you know what you're doing okay guys I'm trying to show you but at the same time you really have to know what you're doing because I don't want your hair on the pillow when you wake up the next morning So as you see, I'm not touching the roots. I kind of want to leave a dark root. I'm just going to feather it on um, so that it looks natural, like almost like it's grown out already for a month or two. And as you see, I'm also trying to get this color on quickly because it's going to lift very fast. Janine has like an ashy brown color. I have that same color hair. I always want a black rinse or a dark brown rinse because I do not like my natural color, but you know... I only say that to say that it's going to add to her hair developing fast. So you got to get that color on quick. Although you're trying to get this color on fast, you still want to make sure that you are saturating the hair with color because you don't want it to end up spotty. That's like the worst thing you can do. Now we're putting the rinse that we're going to put on top of her hair is kind of dark so it will probably cover spots but you just don't want to go that route. You just want to do it right the first time. The color is lifting already. By the time I'm finished putting it on, it's already lifting. So, that's a great thing, but now we got to do the other side. Now, while I was doing Janine hair, I'm like, Janine, let me just put a, a block of color in the front. So, when you push your, your Justin Bieber bang back, you get a little pop. And she was, like, scared at first. I'm like, please, me. So, she let me do it. So, once this is done, I'll show you how it came out. So now I've stopped her processing and boom, there goes the blonde. So it came out pretty bright. I'm liking it. So now I'm going to go in with semi-permanent colors by Adore, African Violet, and Purple Rage. And what I'm going to do is alternate each color by sections. So they are very close in color. So, you know, it's not like it's going to be a really crazy dimension, but you'll be able to tell the difference.
what I'm also doing is the sections of hair that I'm using purple rage on I'm more so saturating it more closer to the root and halfway down the shaft than on the ends because I want the ends to give a little pop it almost can come up pink if you do it correctly so hopefully this works going to do the same exact thing on the other side. Now I'm just going to take the remainder of my semi-permanent dye and I am going to put it on the rest of Janine's hair. Like I told you her hair is like ashy blonde so it will come up especially in sunlight you will see it the most. It won't be nearly as bright as the high lifted hair but it will still show. You also want to try your best not to get the color on your skin especially especially in the front because you don't want to part your hair out and see the color on your roots. So just try your best to skip the root. Now I'm just going to cover her with a plastic cap and I'm going to also put some cotton around her edge to create a barrier so it doesn't drip and I'm going to put her under for 30 minutes. Whoa, that was fast. <laughs> okay, here we go. So here's the color, what it looks like while her hair is wet. Um, it looks a little blue. I hate how my camera picks up blue on purple hair. This is the second time I did purple on my channel and it came up looking blue on camera. Now I'm using Satin Shield to give her a little barrier from the heat um her hair as you can see is stringy on and janine has been getting pressed for years she never wears her hair natural but you can see a little line of demarcation where her hair is more natural than straight so today we're going to give her a cut and get some of those stringy ends off and you know her hair is really healthy for the most part it's just heat trained Now using a vent brush, I'm just going to go in with my favorite, favorite dryer, the Ceramic Red 2000. I will put a link for it in the box below. It's legit number one. I love how the color is brightening up now that her hair is drying and I can't wait to see how these dimensions look once I put the heat on it. Now going in with my shears by Her Strands of Hair, listen y'all she has shears available so if you want some go on i know every time i post them they sell right out so run <laughs> get you some shears now today janine is getting a bob so it's about to go down so you don't have to be sad and hurt that she's cutting her hair janine loves cutting her hair it grows back super fast
So she's getting an angle bob so what I'm going to do is start creating an angle with my hand. I know you see that I'm freehand cutting but I'm also using my middle finger on my left hand as a guide to keep my hand stabilized. So if you are not you know a pro at cutting like this just use your hands to do it more steady. You don't have to freehand cut. Now it's time to just give her a little layers. Janine's hair is very heavy, so I just want to take a little bit of that weight out. Now I got me a little announcement. <laughs> I'm dropping my own flat iron. So here they are right now. They're going to be dropping in January. So please keep an eye out. I usually don't announce anything before it's happening. But I mean, it's already done. So you guys, I can't wait for you guys to try them. And they will be out, like I said, next month. Now here is where you're going to see the dimension that I was creating. If you look over on that right side, you see a little pop of color. It's almost in the lavender pink family. So I'm glad it did exactly what I was gunning for. As always, we're going to finish up with the glass brilliant shine. Now to infuse all oils and lay it to the gods, I'm going to wrap it flat and then I'm going to put a plastic cap over her head. I'm not going to use saran wrap because saran wrap will make it flat. I just want it to be sleek. You also want to remember to put her under the dryer or put yourself under the dryer on cool air. Do not use hot air because then you'll sweat out all your hard work and I know you don't want that.
Woo, baby. I love it. Okay? Love it. There goes that pop of color I beg for under the bang. It's so cute. Thank you everybody for tuning in to Deeper Than Hair TV and I will see you next time.